So I wanted to give a quick little update of what I've been working on and what I am working on this week in GTA 5 Online since obviously I started as a level 1 a couple of weeks ago now and I wanted to give an update on what I've been doing and what my goal is right now, what businesses I'm updating and getting and yeah, give you a little update on what's going on this week. So first and foremost, I've been talking about upgrading my nightclub for a while now. So as you can see, we upgraded security because that's something I've been worried about ever since I've been raided a couple times now. Once in the uh, bunker, once in the Coca-Cola factory. So I upgraded that and then the staff upgrade because I thought it just made sense. Because obviously if you upgrade the staff, it makes it so it reduces the daily popularity loss of the nightclub. Which is perfect, so you don't have to go back as often. You still have to go back, but not as often. But the one thing I haven't done, which is ridiculous, is the equipment upgrade. Obviously, you should upgrade the equipment on any of your businesses because it just makes your life so much easier. You'll get things faster and you'll get more money, which is the most case in a lot of your businesses. Now, this, as you can see, is going to cost me 1.425 million. This is not on sale. I've been waiting. That's the reason I haven't done these businesses, uh, but it's not. So it's going to cost me 1.425 million in order to do the equipment upgrade. And then obviously I'm going to have to upgrade the whole storage as well. So as you can see, if we go into this and I click my nightclub here, we're not going to be doing any of these things. But if you go to storage, max out, it is 1.3 million. So all in all, it's going to cost me 3.3 million, I believe, to upgrade both of these things to make my nightclub at the place I would like it to be. But before I do that, let's see what is on sale this week. See if we have any businesses on sale. There's a few things I still want to buy, which I would rather do now if they're on sale than invest in this. Even though I think this is probably the most important thing I need to invest in right now is the nightclub. If like the executive office is on sale, I would buy that. If the arcade is on sale, I would buy that. So there's a few other uh, MC businesses I would also like to buy if they're on sale. Um, so we'll see what's on sale before we spend full price money on the nightclub. So let's have a look. All right, so first things first, let's head over to our motorcycle club, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the thing I want to purchase, so everything as far as motorcycle club, the reason I want more businesses is for the nightclub. I want our nightclub to be able to pull in as much money. It is a great passive business. You can make tons of money. Um, and the one that's most profitable is this one right here. So I would like to purchase one of these. This would be the last business I purchase for the MC. I am not going to be getting the uh, Marahohana and I'm not going to be getting... No, it's just going to be this one. This is the last one. And I really don't care where the location is. Obviously, for cell missions, it could help. Um, but right now, the cheapest one would be fine. As you can see right there, 910. But it's not on sale. I'm not going to purchase these until it's on sale. Once it's on sale, then I will purchase it. So this is just going to have to wait. All right, so let's take a look at arcades. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, they are on sale. Uh, right now. I don't know when you're watching this video, but as I am recording this, they are currently on sale and they will be for the next week. Um, and it, it, I mean, I just have to. I have to. This is what this is what I have to. I, if this is a business that I want, I need to purchase it while it's on sale. So if we look around the map at locations, the two at the north are pointless. The whole point, if you don't know, of the arcade, the best thing in the arcade is the master control terminal. Now, this is something that this is what we want. This is the only reason I'm buying the arcade is for the master control terminal, which brings me back to why the two north ones are pointless. With the master control terminal, you can source supplies for your MC businesses, for your bunker, for any of your businesses, basically. And um, for that reason, we want to keep it next to our other businesses. So our nightclub is right here, our CEO office is right here, we have a warehouse just a little bit pretty closer to the middle one right here and we also have a uh, the auto shop but I want to keep these closer to the nightclub and CEO office because this is where I'm going to be a lot of the time and I want to be able to just jump over to the arcade and supply all of my businesses really quick. So this is the one that makes the most sense. All right, so as you can see, it is on sale. Originally 2.345 million on sale for 1.6 million. Bargain, let's get it. So the good news of this is all of the things inside are also on sale. If you want to do any upgrades, you can see here there's a few different floor styles, neon art and extras. And in all honesty, uh, these things are pretty cool, but I'm not going to be doing it because it's just for visual. There's no other th thing this, this is going to help you for. Eventually, I'll upgrade these when I have a lot of money and I want to make things look pretty. But right now, it's pointless. 
I will, however, be getting the personal quarters, just so I can set my location here when I want to jump around the map quickly. Like, if I'm at north and I'm in my motorcycle club or something like that, and I want to get down here really quick so I can source supplies for all my businesses, I can set this as my spawn location, switch servers really quick, and it'll spawn me right here. And we'll do a garage as well, why not? I mean, it's 10-car garage, it's on sale, we'll purchase it. So this is it. This is the setup we have gone for. There's nothing to write home about. It's very bland. But this business is literally... The whole reason we're buying this is for the master control terminal. So let's get this business set up. All right, let's head over to our brand new arcade and get this thing set up. All right, so first thing you got to do is go inside and look at some people arguing about things. And then we see Lester and he walks us with his little walking stick over to something that looks like it's out of the movie Big. Which takes us down to a super secret underground lair. Down here, he points at a few things on the wall, tells you you can do things on the other side of these walls. And then sends you off on your way to go collect some arcade machines. So this part, as you can imagine, is pretty easy. You get in your beautiful vehicle, you drive over to the location. Obviously, just like when you try and source cargo, it's been broken into or stolen. So then you got to go track it down and to be honest with you, it's not it's pretty easy You just literally go up in front of it as always as if you were doing a cargo mission Shoot the driver in the face with the sniper because that just seems to be the easiest way to do these things and then take it back to the arcade All right, and then we head back to the arcade and then good old Michael's son here is an idiot complaining that They're not working, but they're not plugged in. I always thought this guy was like made to resemble Jack Osborne. I don't know why. I always felt Jack Osborne vibes. Anyway, the young lady here plugged it in for us and it was great. It worked. Lester got crazy telling us about a heist he wanted to work on. We flipped the board and drew two boxes and then we were done. That's the setup. That is the setup, ladies and gentlemen. It's as easy as that. It literally, there's nothing. It was that. It was pretty goddamn simple. All right, so as you can see here, unfortunately, which is kind of frustrating, uh, none of the arcade machines are on sale. The more arcade machines you get, the more money you can make passively with the arcade. Um, but none of them are on sale, and they're really expensive. Uh, I think, in all honesty, this is just uh, a money sink. I think Rockstar intentionally made these expensive because they wanted to use up players' money because they had so much money. Um, and they had nothing to spend it on, so they're trying to use some of it up. And I think that that's why um, they had ended up making these so expensive. So we're not going to be purchasing these. I think they should have been on sale with the arcade. I don't think it makes sense that they're not on sale with the arcade. Since the arcade is on sale, the upgrades for the arcade are also on sale, but this is not. But anyway, we didn't care about that. This is what we're interested in right here, ladies and gentlemen. The master control terminal. We don't want the drone station. We could care less about the drone station. The thing we're here for is the master control terminal. And you can see it is also on sale from 1.7. Instead of that, we're paying 1.2. Let's buy it. So here she is, looking beautiful. And as you can see on the screens already, all of your businesses are there, ready for you to start doing supplies. Uh, side note, you can also sell your businesses from here, but do not do that. Because if you sell your businesses from here, if you click sell, you're still gonna be sitting here in the same location. So then you're gonna to have to drive or fly over to that business and pick up your sell vehicles to go sell, which is not recommended. As soon as you hit the sell button, the timer for the mission is gonna start. And if it's 15 minutes and you're gonna spend bloody four or five minutes heading over there, you're wasting time. So only sell from the specific locations. Do not do it from here. Only resupply. All right, so anyway, let's jump in. So as you can see, there's a few different things. We're obviously, we're going to be getting some more businesses. So we're going to be filling this up. But we have, let's go down here to the gun running. As you can see, I do not have any supplies right now. Oh, that sucks. We're going to have to go all the way over there. Nope. We can just buy the supplies from here. You can upgrade it from here also, which it should already be upgraded, to be honest with you. But if you haven't upgraded, you can upgrade it from here. And there we have it. All right, Coca-Cola shop. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do anything with this right now. We're gonna wait for the stock in that to go down a little bit, but we will go to our cash business, as you can see right here, and we will purchase upgrades for that, or stock, I should say, not upgrades. But now we're gonna look at, take a look at our warehouses. I wish it would be way too OP, but I wish, as you see right here, if you go into special cargo. You can see, we can source cargo, which is great, because now we can just come here every day, source cargo for all of our businesses, but it would be so overpowered and I would love it. Imagine if you could send your people to source cargo. You know how you pay 7,500 bucks for them to go source cargo? If you could do that from here, that would be amazing. Unfortunately, you can't. You still have to go 
and have them source it manually. But either way, it's still cool to be able to source cargo from here instead of going up to your CEO office. But also, as you can see right here, side note, I've been saying what have I been working on recently. You can see that I have all five of my warehouses are way over 50% full. So I'm continuing to have these guys go and source cargo themselves. And I've actually been really lucky with them sourcing three um, crates. It's happened quite often. I'm actually surprised. I, f I felt like it would only be like one crate, one crate, one. But no, they've actually been sourcing three crates. So it's actually been really nice. All right, so since our new arcade was on sale, even though we upgraded it to everything we want, we still have some money left over. And usually I would like to just keep millions. Um, if you've noticed, I've done sell missions and things before. And even though I should be upgrading things, I've kept that money. It's more of an OCD thing. I just like having money on me. Um, but we're not going to do that because I feel like I need to start making money properly. And I feel like the nightclub is going to be the best way to do that. It's passive and it can make a pretty decent amount of money. And if you don't know, if you go into your phone, you can see right here, it still says double pay for the first sell mission. And that is double pay for the first sell mission from any of uh, like bikers, executives, gun runners, or nightclubs. And we haven't done any sale missions for the nightclub yet. So my goal is to have this thing full so we can get double for a full 360 stock nightclub. And that video will be coming separate. I will do that as soon as it fills up. So since we're in our new business and we can do everything from here now, we're just going to go ahead and log into our nightclub from here. And as you can see, the one thing left I still haven't purchased is the equipment upgrade. Like I say, this is going to cost us 3.3 million, I believe. So let's go ahead and purchase this one for 1.4. I really was waiting for this to go on sale, but I'm not going to wait any longer. All right, so there's that done. Now, the next thing we need to do is upgrade the actual business, which we for that we have to go into our phone. So let's stand up go into our phone, go to renovate. Again, we're not going to be touching pretty much anything here other than our storage. But I do actually need to transfer 100 grand over. So let's go ahead. And this was actually from the nightclub. So it's kind of fitting that it's going back into the nightclub. So we transfer that over. And as you can see right here, storage, we're going to max this thing out for 1.3. I would love to have this on sale, but it's not. All right, so as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, our storage has actually increased now. We have a lot more room to go. It seems like a few of them of the South American imports and is it the cash creation, the two MC businesses there. It seems like they glitched out because they've been only at eight and two for a very long time now. Um, I did read somewhere that they said you need to sell and then get rid of the people that are set to source them and then re like invite them or rehire them again. I don't know. So what we're going to do, but we're not going to be selling that right now anyway. So we may miss out. It seems like those two are bugged, basically. But I don't think it's possible for us to get a full warehouse. I'm not going to be able to sell a full warehouse uh, because of those two. But we're not going to be selling this thing anyway until we get our uh, mayor, our other MC business. Our met, uh, met, uh, you know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> We're going to get that business this week. That's the other thing we're going to be working on. And then we're going to fully fill this thing all the way up as much as we can. I'll try and see if I can figure out the South American imports and stuff. But we're going to be selling this for double. So it's going to be insane. 